top 100,000. This is not about freedom or personal choice. It's about protecting yourself and those around you. You've been patient, but our patience is wearing thin. And your refusal has cost all of us. Now the president announcing the most sweeping COVID requirements yet. Rolling out a plan that will affect 100 million Americans. Ordering all businesses with more than 100 workers to either require their employees to be vaccinated or get tested weekly. The bottom line, we're going to protect vaccinated workers from unvaccinated co-workers. And he's not stopping there. That vaccine mandate now also required for 17 million health care workers plus 4 million federal government employees and contractors, too, who won't have the option to get weekly tests. If you want to work with the federal government and do business with us, get vaccinated. If you want to do business with the federal government, vaccinate your workforce. The president also zeroing in on schools, calling on governors to require vaccinations for teachers and staff, and taking aim at what he calls pandemic politics from leaders who don't encourage vaccines or masking, or have gone a step further and banned mask mandates. These governors won't help us beat the pandemic. I'll use my power as president to get them out of the way. The reaction to the president's message and mandate was swift. Forcing this um, and, and coercing people, I, I don't think is, is, the, is the right decision. But as COVID cases in children hit record numbers, the nation's second largest school district, Los Angeles, going even further than the president's call, now becoming the first major district in the nation to mandate vaccines for students 12 and up. The best way to protect everyone in our schools is to ensure that all who are eligible to get vaccinated get vaccinated. This as hospitals feel the crush across the country with four times more patients in hospitals than a year ago. In Idaho, vaccination rates hover under 55 percent. Our Kaylee Hartung inside one of the state's overwhelmed hospitals, an ICU filled to capacity, many patients only in their 30s and 40s. One healthcare worker telling her it's becoming difficult to even ask about vaccines. When we ask did you happen to get vaccinated? It already sets the tone. It already creates a bit of a risk in that in that tone in the room because it's a feeling of, well, you're going to treat me differently because I didn't get vaccinated. And that is far from the truth. And starting today, the Biden administration will be cracking down on those who refuse to wear a mask on planes, trains, and buses. The TSA now doubling those fines. Repeat offenders could be forced to pay as much as $3,000. The president's message, if you break the rules, be prepared to pay.